Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And um, one second, I'll put this on Do Not Disturb. And today I'm going to be doing your full moon reading for Aries, uh, the full moon in Aquarius. Full moon in Aquarius. I was reading up on the full moon in Aquarius today and it's crazy because it was almost everything that I was doing this week. <laughs> and so it just made so much sense. Um, this full moon is definitely, it's a little less intense than any of our, our other full moons. It's the last full moon or the last super moon of the year. Okay. Um, I forgot what which one it is. The Sturgeon, I think. The Sturgeon full moon. And for Aries... Particularly, this is going to be about relationships, community, leveling up, um, and collaborating, I guess, with people who are going to not only see your vision, but help you reach your goals, okay? Um, this could look like clearing out friendships, clearing out business partnerships, um, and things of that nature. Now, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Saturn is in Aquarius as well. And so that has to do with karma. So if you've been working on your goals, if you've been doing that vigorously, you will see a, a leap um, or a leveling up. If you haven't, it may feel a little bit difficult for you, um, but you're still going to have this energy of the full moon to change that and to turn that around. Um, some things I did this week, I, I, and I did not, I'm telling you, this full moon snuck up on me. I had my house cleaned yesterday from top to bottom um, and started giving away, just giving away old stuff. And that's something that actually is something you should be doing during this specific full moon. And I had no idea. Donating, giving to charities. I found another charity actually to donate to. I pay my tithes. I usually pay, I, if you guys have told you, I pay to like an animal shelter, sometimes the church. But um, something changed in that resonating to me. So I reached out to a friend in my community who's a part of our community center. And I got connected with her. And so that's where I'm going to be paying my tithes to and things like that. But that's also a part of this full moon. You know, really getting an alignment with your humanitarian efforts and community and collective, right, will also bless your life and elevate you and move you forward and then again every full moon is a great time to be clearing out old stuff and let me tell you i have old stuff for days that has been time to get rid of and it just this just seems like the perfect time um to get rid of everything old right now everything old right now for me so maybe you guys may be experiencing that as well okay um so that was a mouthful Again, also, also this full moon, getting very, very clear, very, very precise about your goals, your business goals. What are you working towards? What are you trying to accomplish? And to do that as well. Oh, look at this. There's a card, an extra card in here. Mm. So whenever that happens, I feel like that needs to be seen. It says worth. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. This is a completely different deck. This is from my abundance oracle. So I'm going to put that up there. But yeah, to get very precise. And if you haven't been working on your goals, don't feel bad. Just take this time. Take, take this full moon as a jump start. Right. Use this full moon energy as a jump start. The full moon is not even in full illumination. I'm recording this at around at 1048. And I don't think it's in full illumination until 936 Eastern time, 936 p.m. Eastern time. So and then, of course, you have the shadow period to work with and to manifest as well. I've been kind of tired and drained for the last few days. So I had to take a break out of my emails. I had to take a break. I just had to take a break. I have to listen to my body. And I realized now looking back, hindsight, that this was this full minute, full moon energy gearing up to here, really needing to do the things that I was actually doing. I got so tired that I couldn't do readings, but I had enough energy to clean my house or get rid of things. And so I just felt like that was the universe putting me in alignment to the things that I needed to get done. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm still working on my appointment setting um, website, but that will be 
activated before the end of the month. And I feel that that will give me some sense of uh, ease, ease, I guess you can say ease, ease and effortless. So let's see what's going on here for Aries, sun, moon, Venus, and rising for this full moon energy, full moon in Aquarius. I have a mixture of the moonology and the ancestor oracle. So let's see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to clear message here for Aries. So the first card out is the full moon in Scorpio. It is time to release negativity. Oh, all these cards wanting to come out. We have the white witch, be the light. I love that card. Be the light. Be the light that you want to see. Be the light. You know, that kind of that that card always reminds me of the same that Michelle Obama when she said, when they go low, you go high. You be the light, okay? In a world full of darkness, in a world full of negativity, negative people, negative speaking, um, be the light. Sorry, my nose ring is hanging out. So we have here a time for healing. Yes. Balsamic moon. And I just want to say this as well. The clearing out, because I'm seeing here the time for healing. This may be a time for clearing out your space, which I mentioned in the beginning. But the symbolism behind that is that clearing out old things that you no longer need obviously makes room for newer things. And when we're talking about physical things, physical material objects, it's the same thing as new energy coming in. Not just clearing out old things brings in new things, but clearing out these old things that have energy attached to them is making room, energetic room in your life, okay? Um, and so you really have to evaluate what's important and what's not important, and that helps facilitate your healing because sometimes things in your home carry memories or vibrations or energy, you know, and you're keeping it stuck in your living space. Now, there's things that we like to keep, right? I'm big on that. But a lot of things from people who I no longer deal with or have bad memories, things like that, they have to go. Um, they have to go. And I've always been like that, even before I knew about energy or anything. I just always felt the need that, hey, if you're not in my life, this has to go. People used to get mad at me for that. But now I see that there was a, a, there is a deeper meaning for that. All right. So let's see here. We also have the Direction Guardian. Choose your path. Beautiful card. What do we have here for Aries full moon? One more. One more card for Aries during this full moon. This here. And the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. Ooh, so whatever you have been doing, trying to accomplish, even if it feels like there has been no forward movement, it is paying off. Let's pull from the soul's lesson journey deck. Let's see what lessons we have learned during this period, this clearing out. being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical world. We have failure. This card came out before. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So with abundance and failure coming out in reverse, I feel like someone here is changing their thinking or their thought process from a negative to a positive. And I feel whoever I'm speaking to, you may have been experiencing some lack because of the way that you have been thinking. And this thinking, um, <clears throat> oh, a thought just came in and lost it. But I feel that this thinking has been more of a worrying kind of state. Um, worrying about finances. I'm hearing worrying where your next meal is coming from. And I understand that things can get really difficult in that nature, but a positive thought 
will bring another one and another one and another one. And before you know it, your whole circumstance has changed. Things happened. You're not a failure. You did not fail. Okay. This is just simply another lesson or life lesson that is coming your way that is sent to, to you to elevate. Okay. Um, a mistake or failure is only an opportunity to learn. If you learn from those mistakes and those lessons, then you don't have to make them again. That's the whole point. But sometimes people don't get that and they tend to repeat the same things over and over again. So we have responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. Exactly. The love you express more or less is the love that you're going to receive. Okay. If you're putting it in the right places, in the right direction. We have loyalty. Also came in reverse. It says your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. The first person, let me tell you this. The first person that you want to be loyal to in life is yourself. If you are being loyal to yourself first, there is there's no one else, right, that is going to throw you off that path who's going to trip you up because you're going to be doing making sure that you're okay first. That's self-love, that's putting you first, making sure you're in alignment. And when you're in alignment, you're going to make the right choices here then on out, right? You're gonna make the right choices of who to be entangled with or who to deal with or who to give to, who to send your love to. And so I think a lot of people think that love is putting others first. Well, you can't love people properly if you're not loving yourself properly first, okay? So with loyalty coming into re in reverse here, I do feel that someone here needs to, um, how you say this, put, put your priorities in check when it comes to who you're giving your energy to. The first person should be you, okay? And then after that, everything else will fall into place. And this Aquarius full moon is about, you know, who you're dealing with, your collective, your community, and your friends, okay? Um, and how that affects you reaching your goals, okay? Let's see. Yeah, we have patience. All right. I accept that everything happens in divine order. There's no surprise that that came in reverse. We are. I, I tried to fight that battle before and say, Aries, we're, we're not that impatient. But then the truth of the matter is we are. <laughs> we are a little impatient sometimes. Okay. All right. So let's see here. What else? Okay. Last two cards. We have evolution and forgiveness. Yeah. Your soul evolves as you forgive. You ascend to the next level. It says you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love and forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power in love in order to release past hurts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. All right. So I'm going to pull and see before we get into a Celtic cross and anything. Seeing what is the energies here that Aries is dealing with during these this full moon and we'll just pull three cards and see what's going on here with you Aries during this three full moon what are you dealing with and I'm gonna take a look at what you need to release and that may be the reading <laughs> that may be the reading we may keep this short and sweet and see because this is the most important thing right now during this full moon is clearing out energies um, so you can reach your goals all right so let's see let's take a look and take a look and see what are the energies here that are surrounding Aries during this full moon. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. There it is, the new opportunities, new businesses, new ways of making money, um, abundance, 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 right? I really feel that this is a very transformative period right now for Aries, especially the areas that have been in a lackful energy, feeling like money is not coming in, feeling like you've been stuck or you've been working towards a goal and you have not been seeing um, the fruits or the materialism. Look at that, the stars at the bottom of the deck, which is Aquarius, full moon in Aquarius that we're in right now. If you, I don't want to say if you take this full moon series, but if you do take the necessary steps of clearing out and purging people and things right now who have been a distraction or a blockage to your goals. And this requires fierce honesty, 
Okay. Um, I do feel that you can see that you will see the elevation from this full moon to the next um, in your life. Okay, there. When you see this hand in the right away, this is usually a hand coming from the clouds. This is a blessing. Okay, this is a blessing. This is from God. This is the opportunities that you've worked for, you planned for, and here He is blessing your dreams and your vision and your business. And He's saying, "Here, here you go. Here, this is what you've prayed for. This is what you've asked for. This is what you've been working towards. And now here it is." So you're in this energy areas of receiving right now more than anything. And so you cannot afford to allow distractions, negativity, people, places, things to block that. When you start elevating, you're going to see, sometimes people switch up. You're going to see people switch up. You're going to see people fall away. And you have to remember that that is okay because you are being pushed to something greater. You're being pushed to your calling. Your vision is emerging and that is okay. People, new people will come in, right? But this is a gift and this is an opportunity that you cannot pass up on. Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful energy here to be in during this full moon. Let's see here. What else do we have here during this full moon? For Aries, what is the energy that Aries is in during this full moon? So someone could be starting a new business or, um, yes, absolutely. Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords. King of Swords, this King of Swords is super intelligent, let's say, first of all, okay? Anybody can embody this King of Swords, but this is someone who has a plan, who has a vision, who has done all the legwork, who has done all the studying, has all the preparation. This is literally that preparation meets opportunity energy. Woo, I got chills, okay? Somebody has been working on something or planning something or had a, has a vision for something and now God is literally funding it or giving you the opportunity to execute, okay? Because that's what the King of Swords is about, execution. He is Aquarius energy as well, okay? So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This is something here, Aries, that I feel like you've been waiting on and this is time for you to take action or to speak you know, or ask rather what it is that you're you're wanting and what it is that you're creating. It's time for other people to see your vision as well. Lovers in reverse at the bottom of the deck. What is the energy here Aries is in currently during this full moon? Ten of Wands. All right. So this is the end of a difficult time. A difficult period in your life as you can see this woman is carrying it all on her back the whole load the full load and when you reach the 10 it's time to drop it all okay you've carried it the, the burdens other people's opinions the hard work by yourself long enough right it's time to make space it's time to make space and clear out your energy literally right so you can have this new beginning all right, Princess of Pentacles here, planting the seeds of your abundance and your your um, vision, your goals, your opportunities. Let's clarify. Look at that. We're going to split the deck. Ten of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify these. For the spirits, professor angels, please allow me to get the message here. For the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's clarify these cards. What is the Ace of Pentacles? The Lovers. Wow. Okay. So this is Gemini energy here. Some of you clearing out old and making new relationships, business partnerships, um, friendships, being more in tuned and in balance and having harmonious relationships around you. But it feels like, like I said in the beginning, the relationships that are going to elevate you and push you forward with your goals. So this could be, what does that look like? You investing into other people's businesses or people investing into yours, you collaborating and this working out for both of you very, very well. Okay. This could be as simple as someone giving you a shout out or you giving someone a shout out or you collaborating and working with others, right? And which is going to bring expansion to you and your business. Also, I'm seeing someone starting a business or starting something new and they have very, very positive feedback. People enjoy it very well. Um, and you get a lot of love, okay? So let's see here with the King of Swords. Two of Cups. 
All right. Definitely heavy on the relationship energy. And again, like, honestly, this could definitely be love, but it feels like partnering up with people who are in alignment with you. Whether it's love, whether it's business, this is you partnering up with like-minded people, people who are going to fill your cup and they're going to you're going to fill their cup and they're going to fill yours, being equally yoked, okay? The lovers and the two of cups, heavy on the relationships, heavy on the business relationships. I mean, literally, this is amazing. I mean, everything I spoke in the beginning, this is what the cards are showing. What is the Ten of Wands? Two of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. I mean, it literally is explaining everything I said in the beginning. All right, Ten of Wands. Page of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. These are the type of people who are in your life who tell you the things that you want to hear. And when people tell you things that you want to hear or they think that you want to hear, it does not do anything for you but leave you unbalanced and unsure of what you should actually be doing. Spirit is bringing people into your life. King of Swords energy. Sometimes King of Swords type of person has no cut, no chaser, right? When they talk to you. But if you're in a place to receive that, you know it's literally coming from love. It's coming from love. It's coming from love. And to elevate or to where you're going, you need that. Spirit is saying it is time to drop the people, the energies around you who are just telling you little things that make you feel good or sound good because that period of your life is over. If you see the page of cups here, he has a fish in his cup, right? So something's kind of fishy. Something is not where it needs to be. Fake friends, you know, clout chasers, people who secretly say things behind your back, but they're telling you things that, oh yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that starts to weigh heavily on a person because they can feel that it's inauthentic it's not real and, and the advice or the love that is being given is fake. The two of pentacles here puts someone in a real unbalanced, unsure energy. Okay. So literally this is time and these relationships could be family members. You know, if you're not cutting a family member out completely, it could be setting the boundaries between you and them to where that they don't affect your energy in that way. So it could look a lot really different for a lot of people, but the overall energy is what we talked about in the beginning, needing to time to clear that those energies out so you can be successful in the direction that you're moving. At the bottom of the deck is the death card. Okay, Scorpionic energy, but it is literally ending something so you can have a new beginning. Very transformative energy. Um, underneath is temperance, being patient with yourself and having balance restored. Very big energy here. Very big energy here. So I'm going to leave that there, actually. Let's see here. Um, this was on the Lovers and the Two of Cups. Now, let's see here. Any final advice? Because that was what you need to clear out as well. Any final advice for Aries during this full moon? King of Pentacles. This is a very, very business focused reading. Queen of Wands. Any final advice for Aries here? And the strength. Wow. And the strength. Okay. Six of Swords here. Moving on from conflict very peacefully, having finding your new path and your new vision here. Okay. So, Aries, where you're going. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> Where you're going. I feel that someone here, this opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles that is literally being gifted to you is this, turns into this King of Pentacles, okay? The Ace is the beginning, the King is the end when it comes to the Pentacle suit. So this opportunity, this blessing that God is giving you, you better use it, okay? Because I feel that somebody's life could be completely different from now to possibly next year this time. You're being blessed, you're being given a voice, you've been given an opportunity, and this you can culminate this and turn this into a full-fledged business, okay? Full-fledged business. This is a very successful, generous, you know, real 
business person. So I'm seeing somebody here, you had abundance, you failed. You had abundance, you failed. Like you had money, it was good, life was good, then you know something happened. I feel like this is kind of like your break here to where you're going to level things out and use everything that you've learned in the past to stay up, okay? Um, and that requires, that really does require using the lessons that you've learned throughout this period or in your life in general, okay? Let me clarify the King of Pentacles. What is the King of Pentacles? The Knight of Wands, love this. Knight of Wands passionately moving towards your goals. The Knight of Wands here is not as refined as the King of Wands, but he uses his passion to fuel him. And sometimes that's what you need to get to that King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Emperor phase. You have to be sometimes a little, I don't want to say reckless, but sometimes you do have to do things out of impulse when you get that feeling and you need to act. And the King of Wands, he acts on those high vibrating emotions is saying, hey, this feels good, so I'm going to go for it. And when you follow your intuition in that way, it does lead to a success, to success more than less, more than it, you know, more than it won't. Yeah, look at that. The star at the bottom, more Aquarius energy. So what is the King of Wands? Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups, another knight, another knight, and the Queen of Wands is clarifying the Queen of Wands. Um, there's a there's a love in here too. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this real quick, just for the just for the people who are saying, you know, where's the love? Da da da. da. I'm gonna tell you this. This message is coming through very strongly. When you get to the place that you're supposed to be in your success, in your business life, in your career the love or at least on the right path to it you don't have to be all the way there that top-notch business person but when you're on the path of following your dreams right and you're in alignment with yourself there is going to be relationships not just business relationships but romantic relationships that are going to come into your life that are going to also be in alignment so if you're struggling with finding the one or finding the partner take some time to focus on your career goals and your business goals Right, because that is what's going to put you in alignment to all of the people that need to be in your life. Okay, and you'll see the people that don't will slowly start to fall off because they're not in alignment with your vision. Okay, with that being said, back to the Queen of Wands on top of the Queen of Wands. Following your dreams, honey, is going to get you to the place of success and accomplishment. The Queen of Wands is very creative. Okay, very creative. She uses her magic, that internal magic, that light. To create and manifest what she needs and what she wants and what is that light we have we see that with the white witch be the light that spark what sparks her that joy okay she follows that she manifests it and she creates it the knight of cups in this sense here is someone following their dreams they may not have they may not know exactly where they're going to end up, but they know their dreams are going to lead them to success, okay? This is a very powerful reading, especially for people who feel feel like, you know, they've been trudging along or haven't getting to their goals the way that they wanted to or in the time frame that they wanted to. We have strength here as the last card. Let's see here. Last thing that Aries. Wow. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles again, Ace of Wands. Clarify one more time. And the Four of Swords. Um, in order to get, this is reiterating here, Queen of Wow, Queen of Pentacles. And what's going on here? Let's go one more time. In the Tower. This is, it looks like, it looks like overnight success, King of Swords. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Y'all, there's a cat outside my window. Pugsley is sound asleep. I feel like they just, and my window is open. I feel like they do that. They know I leave that window open for him. So let me try to get through this real quick while Pugsley doesn't hear it. Um, <laughs> so we got the king and the queen of pentacles. That's exactly what I was saying about focusing on your goals, working towards your goals, and you're going to have that life partner that comes in that is in alignment with that. Okay, something that you've been praying for, something that you've been meditating on, visualizing, King of Swords, you're going to have someone come in, comes in who has the same vision as you. It feels like 
you know, it may have taken a long time, right? Or investing into yourself, your businesses. But once it's here, you're going to look back and like, wow, that didn't take long at all. It's going to feel like overnight success. But obviously, when you're in the time and when you're in that period of waiting, which is why we have patience here, when you're in that period of waiting, it does feel like a long time. But when you blow up, you're going to forget. Even when you have to look back and describe it to someone else, you're going to tell them, well, it didn't seem like that long at all. And so that's kind of how, if anything, it's just a reminder that, you know, what seems like a long time, time is an illusion, okay? As long as you're focused on your goals and also the other message that I'm getting here is to really be strong and because the strength here is in, in, in speaking about your goals, holding back from wanting to, I'm hearing blabbermouth or, you know, tell everybody about what you're working on before it's executed or before it's out there. That can really distort your goals and your vision and throw you off your path. So being very silent about that until your shit pops off. That's the best way I want to say it. Until your shit pops off, you need to be silent about it. Okay. Um, especially because I'm seeing like someone here who have friends who talk a lot about your business. That may be the reason why you need to start disconnecting from certain people. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. That was a pretty lengthy re reading. Um, I do want to pull one more card. And I just, let's see here. Hmm. I don't see the cards that I want to pull. Oh, let's do. Okay. All right. And to close this reading up. Oh, came right out. That's just a guardian angel card. What do we have here? For the Aries Collective, to close this reading up. Invitation, prayer, and acceptance. I think. Okay. Acceptance. Acceptance is the card. There is nothing about you that you need to fix, okay? Reclaim the disowned parts of you that yearn for love and acceptance. You are beautiful just as you are. Regardless of any faults you may perceive you have, you are internally radiant being of light. Accept all that you are and just be you. When you truly accept yourself, your whole world will magically and lovingly transform. That's what I have for you guys. Take care. Bye.